<laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode 86 of Talking Shit. My name is Barrett Courtney. I'm one of your hosts, and here joined with me are my incredible co-hosts and even better friends, the bisexist from Texas, Henry Montiero. What's that up, kick kick sand in Cool Cat's face. And over here is my favorite chunky bunk, Ricky Baldazan. Episode 86? Yeah. Jesus Christ. I know. That's a lot. It is a lot. For us. Yeah. <laughs> for us. This is the most consistent thing we've ever done in our Jesus lives. Jesus Christ. We usually go to four <laughs> of anything. Four or two are like the numbers. Usually we just go home by this point with our dick in our hands. <laughs> <laughs> well, we still do that, but yeah. now we have a podcast. <laughs> yeah, we need something to do after this. <laughs> so dick in hand. We just uh, dick in hand to circle jerk in it. Uh, if you don't know what we do here at Talking no, Shit, we... That's uh, the most consistent thing. <laughs> <laughs> the circle jerk? Yeah. Uh, if you don't know what we do here at Talking Shit, uh, we the circle jerk and bring in uh, random topics of discussion and talk some shit about those topics. If you think that's cool and dandy, head on over to patreon.com forward slash BCG. Give us $1 every month and you get every full episode of Talking Shit early and an exclusive episode every month. But if you don't want to support us, that's okay. Talking shit still rolls out topic by topic, day by day, Monday through Thursday, over on YouTube.com slash Bayzona Gamers. Before the whole episode goes up on Friday for everybody on SoundCloud.com slash BZGSF. How are you guys doing today? I want to talk about my week a little bit, but I don't because I want to save it for our Patreon episode that we got to record today. Cool. Um, we can talk about our day. Yeah. Well, how, how's your guys' week been? Pretty busy. We, I mean, we kind hung of. out for two days. Yeah, yeah. you guys uh, saw Zootopia. You guys are going to record a review video, which should be yep. out by the time you guys are both either listening to this or watching this. So, yeah, um, uh, I'm excited for that. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was. A good I, movie. I just realized I was like, I'm going to be in the uh, in the other room, so like they don't ruin for it for me. But then like I have to edit the fucking. Video I was thinking anyway. about that when you said <laughs> it in the car. I was like. Who's going to edit it? <laughs> Go see the movie before you edit it. But I want it, like, I want that review up by, like, tomorrow. <laughs> oh, Go yeah. see the movie. <laughs> today. <laughs> no, I don't have time to go see the movie today. What, what, what Pirate sucks. it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, from, like, one of those, like, head cam fucking really bad shaky camera fucking I don't know what Henry Nurk were talking about. This movie sucks. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, but the I guess the one thing I can talk about uh, is we recorded. If you guys are watching this uh, on YouTube, the the let's plays that we're doing this week are Uncharted Two, uh, Among Thieves, and the when we recorded those episodes, right. the first episode for Among Thieves went up on Monday, and you might be a little confused by that episode because you're like. Wow, they're making a lot of jokes that seem funny, but like I don't get it. I don't know where they're it's coming because from. Because we recorded an episode. Before that, that should have gone up on Monday, but um, the gameplay didn't save. So, uh, and then we realized that on um, on Tuesday's Let's Play, which if you're watching this on YouTube, should be tomorrow. Um, so yeah, that was that was fucking fun and Danny. It sucks because that Let's Play, the first one we recorded, was so fucking funny. The problem was, and I I, I know why it like this usually happens because it's happened to us a couple times, and I realized it that it was going too well. <laughs> <laughs> when, we're, any, when we're like when yeah. we're too happy it's just like no, god god's, go fuck yourself god's like too far <laughs> god's like chill <laughs> chill fam chill <laughs> there, there um, hasn't been this one party tier. too lit <laughs> so the the first topic i want to i want to bring in today uh we were under the influence of something earlier this week because I, I was not having a great day yeah the so, lord <laughs> so we're under the influence of the lord and uh well, after you left, I started watching Game Over Greggy show, and one As of the topics do. was um, casting a Metal Gear Solid movie. And I was like, "Oh, this is fun," but like, I don't really know anything about Metal Gear Solid. I was like, "Man, like, that's a fun like." Game. It's okay, no one does. <laughs> yeah, like Metal Gear Solid's always like a nice idea. Like, it always sounds so cool, and yeah. then like you get to it, and I'm just like, "Fuck, I don't." It's I like, have it's, all like of them. it's like <laughs> it's like when you you think you're about to have like a really good shit that like feels nice, like, "Oh yeah, I'm about to take like a really nice poop," and then it's just straight up like diarrhea. It's like, "Oh, I don't want to do this anymore." Yeah. See, I was gonna talk about getting a burrito, but now I don't want to because you said that, <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm imagining my asshole as a burrito. <laughs> so, I, and I was thinking, I was like, "Wow, like, what would be like?" What would be like a fun thing to do that for? Like, uh, if we could make a movie, like, what like IP could we do that with? That would ICP. be fun. So I was thinking about it. I was like, oh fuck, Batman. And so I texted you guys, and uh, we we are finally coming together today. I texted you guys, hey, 
Think about your ideal Batman movie. The plot points it would have, the villains it would have, what uh, allies it would have, and who would you cast for that movie? So George Clooney with Alicia Silverstone. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go over to you first, Henry. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> Did you not think about it at all? I've been thinking about okay. it. Okay. So this has been hard. I'm trying to think of like who would be my ideal Batman. Really, you can just get like any guy with a strong chin. Okay. Like that's just bat- who Batman is. White guy with strong chin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm trying to think like who would be really good. See, the thing is, like, whenever you think about who should play Batman, everyone just thinks who should play Batman, never who should play Bruce, Bruce Wayne, Wayne, which yeah. is why everyone was like, why the hell are you casting Michael Keaton? And then Michael Keaton's the man. Yeah, so. he is the fucking man. And now he's Birdman. <laughs> <laughs> he's not dead. <laughs> Dude, if Michael Keaton died, I would straight up fucking cry. Dude, don't like, talk about it. Don't talk George about Martin it. Died <laughs> yesterday. George Martin did die. Yeah, I was just... listening uh, on the way to uh, dropping off Alyssa at school. I was listening to um, Revolver. Three Beatles are dead now. <laughs> <laughs> That's sad. But uh, so let's see. Who would be the ideal Batman? You got any, Ricky? Should, should we wait for you? Yeah. I mean, I can go. My, my okay. casting is shit, but I'll go. Okay. Um. I, so I, Yeah, I want to. I don't look. I'm, I'm using my computer as references. So okay. like when you... um, So as I'm going to start off with story. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Start off with what would you be your ideal Batman story? So because of everything Batman right now is connected to Superman and mm. I kinda wanna shit on that and do like kinda still incorporate something Superman. Yeah, and into we're it. totally ignoring the current like DC universe, yeah. uh, movie universe right now. Just like if we were to start like a Batman franchise, what would be like what would be that first movie? So um that kind of at first when I was started thinking about it, I was thinking Scott Snyder immediately mm-hmm. and like Court of mm-hmm. Owls and stuff mm-hmm. and how cool it would be to see that. Yeah. Um, but just for fucks, I went a different way. Okay. Um, so I'm going Batman Hush. Okay. Oh, I really because I think one that would be ideal for a lot of people just because it has so much in it. Um, so it has like a wider range. Of, Plus, it's an easy, easy story to like condense into one. Exactly. Um, whereas the Scott Snyder one, it wouldn't be as, so as simple. Um, and, oh, we'll, we'll talk about Scott Snyder. Yeah, no. And then another reason I knew you were going to bring up Scott Snyder too. So I was just like, <laughs> fuck it. I'll bring it. <laughs> Actually, after you go, I just thought of which story I would adapt. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, let, yeah, we'll, he'll talk about plot and like casting and then we'll go back to you. Okay. Cause I'm going to, I'm going to wrap up the topic. Okay. Um, so he just yeah. says Mick Jagger is Batman. <laughs> <laughs> David, how'd you guys know? Doing this. <laughs> Hey, what's up? Make up. <laughs> I'm uh, sexy Batman. <laughs> just doing the bat to see for two hours. <laughs> anyway, so I, I thought Hush would be like the better one to go. Also, I really love the whole idea of the character, and I really want to see Hush. Like, yeah, on oh, screen. yeah. Hush is a great story and a great character just because it hits home for Bruce Wayne as well. Like, not like Batman as a character, like, like the Joker, like a lot of the times hits like Batman, like, uh, in the the core of Batman, but Hush like hits both of those worlds, and that's why it's so. Fun. Every time Perfect. Hush goes on screen, you just hear Hush, Hush, <laughs> <laughs> just um, deep purple. <laughs> um, so that story, okay. everyone knows what Hush is for the most part. Um, casting wise is where I had some more trouble because it's Batman. So a lot of yeah. the people I was coming up with with like. It's not good enough. Like, that's <laughs> not, like, it just does it seemed like it's such a specific, all the characters in Batman are so specific that a lot of these characters wouldn't have worked. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I've been watching Flash. Hey, stop, stop playing with your pussy. <laughs> <laughs> and then I've been watching Flash, so I was thinking of, like, some of the people in Flash that would be good. I just want to, I just, just want to pause you. If you haven't read Hush, Batman Hush is $16 on Amazon right now. And it's good. It's really good. It's, it's one a of good, the best Batman comics ever. It's a good starting point. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, but yeah, so casting wise. Um, it was hard. Yeah. It was tough. But did, did you ever land on someone? I couldn't land. That's the thing. Like, I couldn't. I want to talk about casting when you talk about it just to kind of, you know, like. I've see, got a full fucking cast. Yeah, just Eric to kind Estrada of see. Is Batman. And then um, that way I can bring up some of the people that I picked and why. I didn't uh-huh. think they were good enough. Um, I I just knew, like, for sure I wanted the guy. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to look up Eric Estrada. <laughs> Eric Estrada. There, there he is. is. <laughs> Eric Estrada is Batman. No, Cool Cat's Batman. <laughs> um, In full Cool Cat costume. <laughs> um, 
I just knew I for sure wanted um the guy who played Gordon in the Dark Knight series. Gary Oldman? Yeah. I really love him. You mean mm. the bad guy from the Fifth Element? But I don't think I <laughs> But I don't He was think... great in the Fifth Element. He was fucking awesome. Bruce yeah. Willis is bad. Gary man. Oldman is the fucking fucking <laughs> shit. You're the yeah. shit, Gary Oldman. Yeah. Even yeah. if you are a weird libertarian. I that being said, I lo- I love Gary Oldman. Yeah. Um but that's the thing. I wouldn't want him playing Gordon again. I wouldn't want him playing Gordon again. I want him playing some somebody else. But I want a reason to have, have him back. Have him back in a Batman movie because I think that's a good element for him. Yep. I'll talk about my cast later. Go. So I just thought of which one I'd adapt, and it's not the one you're thinking. You probably th- you're thinking I want to adapt no, Arkham Asylum. I, no, I knew that. You, I knew you were going to stray away from Arkham Asylum because um, I feel like that would work better as like an animated feature. Yeah. I want to see an, a two-part adaptation of Long Halloween followed by Dark Victory. Oh, oh, mm-hmm. oh, baby. So ooh, baby. The, the thing I will say about that is Long Halloween was – the Dark Knight was basically Long Halloween, but very loosely, very loosely. But I do like the, the whole – because they took out the whole main story basically. They just – they just put Joker in. They, yeah. Well, they just put Joker in and like they moved away from the um, – not holiday. Who's the um, uh, calendar man? Well, no, he's like not holiday, the main guy. holiday, the son is, of the uh, mafia boss. Yeah, holiday, he's is, the holiday killer. Yeah, is holiday from Long Halloween? Then who's the? What was the name of the second killer? Hangman. That's there you what go. It was. So uh, the first one, holiday. They totally removed that. Like put in Joker. They just made and, it like, about focus, two phase. It made it about two phase, but also like purely focused on just one of the crime boss families. Mm-hmm. So I, it would be really cool to see all of those elements play into a movie. They, yeah, they took Halloween and <clears throat> turned it into an origin story for like most of the thing, and like yeah, how, well, like Long Halloween was already <clears throat> like a Harvey Dent origin story. Yeah, but oh, they yeah. focused on it a lot more for like the audience. Yeah. Um. There's a reason I didn't pick Long Halloween because. I, that's forever going to be my favorite Batman uh, comic. Um, but I, I see Long Halloween as like a TV series. Oh, that would be mm. so good. Like a Netflix season. Yeah, that yeah. would be that not would Gotham. Be <laughs> fucking awesome. That yeah. would be so great of just like in the chapters one, it as well. And it doesn't need even need to be a like a yearly series. No, one season, short series. Each episode is the is a holiday. Oh, Done. Yes. Like here's the thing that annoys me. Like when we have comic book adaptations – I feel like they should do it more like how they adapt manga and anime, like adapt like the stories directly that people want to see, like, right. exactly. less episodic. Like, exactly. If you can have the entire, like, what was the name of the ninja exams in Naruto? Uh, the Chin, the, fuck, the, he's going to say something they're... really racist, too, isn't he? <laughs> I don't know, but they were really fucking cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, they were like fucking awesome. Like that whole exam arc. The tuning in- exam. The tuning exam. They did that whole arc, but it's like every. Holy fuck. <laughs> But Naruto. like whenever they adapt like a comic Those book, are so cool. they always have like episodic series. So like imagine if they had Batman the animated series, but it was like they had full storylines instead yeah. of like like with Justice League the long series. It's not, it's like not just episodes. a it's not just like a a monster a week sort of. No, it's like one battle is like four episodes, and like you're gonna feel the intensity of this rivalry. Like a good story arc that yeah. goes over. Yeah, like, a like that of episodes, part of yeah. Naruto was the best part of the whole series. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 So anyway, it's like yeah. if they had a Spider-Man show and like they adapted Craven's Last Hunt, that would be awesome. Oh, fuck. See, the the Spider-Man comic that they really need to adapt is either Ultimate Spider-Man, either Ultimate Spider-Man because it is like the pivotal just like great basis of uh, like a Peter Parker story. It's the best Spider-Man or jump it's the best comic jumping on point. Yeah. Spectacular Spider-Man, which is the or maybe maybe is that, like the, is that the or Superior f- Spider-Man, which is the Doc Ock. Doc Ock who takes over Peter Parker's like body. Like they have a Spider-Man series, oh. but then like there's a whole season oh, of just right. that. Yeah. Anyway, back to Batman. Yeah, yes. back to, you know the point. Back to the topic. But like, so I would really want to see Long Halloween either as like a two and a half hour long movie or a TV show, right? Like, and then like a dark, dark victory. Mm, yes. But I'm still wondering who I'd cast as Batman because to see that was the hardest point for me. Like I, Batman is like the perfect like I got it. Kevin Spacey, but he's still the cat. <laughs> Bat- we have to see that movie. Batman too. Like, Batman's like your dream date, but you can't find anyone that's even close to that. <laughs> like you can't find someone with glasses and freckles. Yeah. <laughs> so, but back to you. Like, if you can't cast Batman right now, who, like, did you have any other thoughts of, like, who else to cast? That's the thing. I like, 
every single character that's in Hush, which is like all these characters I love so much, I uh, couldn't even like. Steve Buscemi is Riddler. <laughs> and there's been so many <laughs> Batman movies that like I kept thinking about the cast list and that, and that kept throwing me off even more. Steve Buscemi is Steve, Riddler. <laughs> Steve Buscemi is Riddler. I really wanted um, what's his face as Riddler. I'm trying to remember his name. Um, you mean the Diddler? The Diddler. That's the bad Mark Hamill. Story. Watch every... out, kids. <laughs> Mark... That's what I want to make. Batman versus the Diddler. <laughs> Mark Hamill is everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just doing the Joker voice for everyone, including Batman. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, re- I can really see John Boyega in it. As Batman? As Batman. <laughs> He'd be a good Batwing. Like yeah. no, like as like a racial change from one of the other characters. So not everyone in this series is white. Um John Boyega as a sidekick, I can really see happening. Like Why is the serious. black man got to be the sidekick? Yeah. Why can't he be Batman? I'm not, not going to say because he's black. <laughs> no, he, he is a little too young to yeah. really fit into that. Um, no, but, but we'll, I can... We'll I get can, to age in a little bit. I can see him as like a Nightwing or something. I can really see that happening. I can see him as Hush. <laughs> All right. Christopher Walken is Batman, but he's still go- he still goes, but Bruce Wayne... And Why Bruce are you dressed Wayne? up as Batman? Where you going, Bruce? <laughs> Somewhere... <laughs> Exotic. I still want Danny DeVito in some point. He's Batman. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm Batman. Garbage of the train. All right. You guys ready? Yeah. You guys ready for this bomb I'm about to drop on you guys? All right. So the whole thing's just complete bullshit. It's all Danny DeVito. <laughs> <laughs> First new Batman series, all in like its own universe. None, none of this DC movie universe bullshit. Right. right. First movie. You have zero year, which would be a great fucking right. origin story on screen because not only just to to set up like this sort of universe as Batman, but it's also Miller, just like right? the no, that's year one. Zero year is Scott zero, Snyder's zero third year. storyline. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Okay, okay. So it's his like Batman year. origin story, and, <laughs> and I like so one a lot. Batman. It, it it not only sets up like how Batman would be in this universe and like how different like the subtle differences he would he would have of like when he starts out as batman he's more of like this just angry fucking child uh but it also like sets up uh the t- nice tone for the universe because it's so diverse zero year is very di- diverse of there are heavy hitting moments and um like scary moments and <clears throat> just really grounded like fuck but then you've got this like crazy just <laughs> the artwork in that uh in zero year is just yeah. so like um, a lot of like neons and just bright colors It'd be and ridiculous cool to see that like Batman and ridiculous set pieces but that also still look really really cool and that just that story arc being put into the first movie of a Batman series would just set up the tone of the universe so fucking well cuz you could just see how diverse it would be <laughs> yeah. um the thing what did you have to say the thing that's the the most attractive thing about the Scott Snyder series is that, that that's coloring. A, the entire time I was reading Zero Year, I was like, this could be a fucking movie. The so, way he specifically the way he wrote it and how the um the plot points like rise up. I was like, holy fuck, this could be like a Christopher Nolan film. Yeah, not only did he know not visually, yeah. but just like the way like plot. Sorry, I'm just looking up who colored Batman Zero Year. I think it's who I suspect. Um. Anyway, um, the thing that was so perfect about oh. that is that he understood that only like Gotham is this gritty fucking thing. <clears throat> yeah. Um. And but but people usually think like that's all the time. They never think about daytime, and they never make that like that like left turn. Yeah, and that's they, like, like one of the best scenes in The Dark Knight Rises is fucking. Him and Bane fighting in the middle of the day. Yeah. Oh, it's like ah. he, he took he took what everybody did and like made Gotham this very boring daytime thing and just waiting for it to get nighttime and get intense and made it fucking intense and made it real and awesome. Like it's it's Batman with the fucking uh, colors from Wolf, uh, Wolf Among Us. It was ridiculous. Yeah. Just all these pinks and purples. And I still shit. need to play that. Yeah. So, so here we go. Here's my cast list. So, uh, well, they're that excited. <laughs> first off, <laughs> Coke Falls. <laughs> first off, so I'm, I'm, bringing up, I'm, I'm bringing up pictures for you guys just, just because my Batman Bruce Wayne would be Finn Whitrick, who is in the big short, fantastic character uh, that he plays, fantastic actor. Why does his head look like an arrowhead? <laughs> I think he would make a great young 
growing up Bruce Wayne? You know, so I know him from American Horror Story. That's the main thing I know. Yeah, him he from. was in a Hotel or whatever. He's right? in like all of them now. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're all in all of them. Um, and I like just because of the characters he plays in there are so not Bruce Wayne. I never thought about that, but that's really Watch good. Watch the big short. Yeah. Very, I didn't know he was in the, it. It's still not that like sort of Bruce sort of character, but, but you just get, the like, way he acts and like his voice is a young Bruce voice. I fucking dig it. You know who I want to see that's at really some good. point in a bit? I can see that happening. You know who I kind of want to see? Story with Aaron. It's Aaron Cash who's the guard, right? Who lost his hand to Killer Croc? Yes. I want to see him played by Idris Elba at some point. That would be good. That would be a, that's that's, a good one. That's a I really want to see Idris point. Elba play everyone at some <laughs> point. I All want right. him as James Bond already. And then Alfred would be Peter Capaldi. Okay, that sounds amazing as long as he goes fuckity bye at least <laughs> once. <laughs> <laughs> fuckity bye, Bruce. <laughs> that's really good. Uh, because Alfred in, in Zero Year in the Scott Snyder universe does... He is that sort of classic Alfred vibe, but he also reminds me a lot of how Af- Alfred was depicted in uh, Arkham Origins of like, no, you need to know how to do this right. And I think Peter Capaldi could fucking nail those two different tones. Are you yeah. going to put of, up pictures for the audience? Yeah, I'm going to, for, if you're listening to this and if you don't know who some of these uh, people are, uh, if you're listening to the audio version, uh, go over onto our YouTube page. I'm going to edit in photos of all these people. You just keep Photoshopping them over my face. So James Gordon, look away. Look away. I got to type in the name. It's just the guy from Weezer. <laughs> James Gordon would be none other than Ewan McGregor. My child. You're making a perfect movie. <laughs> that is great. Uh, just because Ewan McGregor also, he can play, um, he knows when to be badass when he needs to, but he oh, also yeah. can bring in a really good innocence that James Gordon has when he starts out. Yeah. And he has the higher ground, Anakin. Again, there's a reason we love him so much. <laughs> yeah. Because he can act. Yeah. And so, he can turn of course, that switch on. having Zero Year, the first part of Zero Year wasn't really about the Riddler. It was more about Red the Hood. The Diddler. Yeah. It was more about the Diddler. <laughs> it oh, was yeah. more about Red Hood and sort of like uh, the, the origins, a little bit of the Joker. That's the other thing. We'd see Red Hood for the first time on screen, live action, and that would be kind of fucking crazy. So here's who I'd cast as Red Hood slash the Joker, Eddie Redman. Really? Yes. He does kind of look like Fuck the Joker. Yes. Fuck yes. Guy's an amazing actor. I guess very so. like he's just he knows finally a joker into... i can bang <laughs> <laughs> he just knows how to fit into other like characters happen. and he just has that he already kind of has like the lining on his chin. yeah he's he's got like a good jawline there but he's uh, and that was the thing i was trying to like balance in between of uh look and um just I never Good realized. Good acting shops. I never and he realized. He is an amazing actor. How much Eddie Redmayne looks like Kevin Bacon? <laughs> he does kind of. Uh, um. I think the last piece for like him to be like a really good Joker would be like costume design and everything. Oh like, yeah, everything needs to be like on spot on for point. that to be perfect. He's the Joker, but because the way he looks in my reason. I mean, just the way he looks in my head right now. He's basically dresses the Red Hood, but you just have to put. The fucking just right. the, the red <laughs> just cover that. See, right. just look at that shit. Yeah, just cover up his fucking yes, yes. It's like All you right. get a, a, a so, picture of like uh, someone completely go. different and do it. We look. get into the nitty gritty here. Uh, Philip Kane, if you don't remember, Philip Kane is Bruce's uncle mm-hmm. in this uh, in this series. I want to see Willem Dafoe in a Batman movie. And so, I forget I have I him. Cast, I need to reread it. <laughs> who I would cast as uh, Philip Kane would be none other than Martin Freeman. A Ooh. weird looking dwarf man. <laughs> I can see that happening. Uh, not a huge role for him, which which would be sort of sad. But he's a great actor. He looks the part. He'd uh, be in it, and that's all that I want. Uh, can we talk he about knows this? How to, he knows how to. <laughs> Martin Freeman Hedgehog is one of the results. I think we have to click on that. <laughs> no, no. Let's, let's move on. And then Harvey Bullock would be. Willem Dafoe. <laughs> Seth Rogen. <laughs> Again. He can flip the switch. He can flip the switch. He can. I can see it. And because he just knows how to play those sort of like weird, like awkward, serious roles. Did you guys watch um, Steve Jobs? Do we look like we watch Steve Jobs? <laughs> I just watched the night before, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's another one. He was. He just had that sort of Harvey, like in Steve Jobs, he's playing like this um, tech genius almost, but just like that sort of. Character would also fit well into like how Bullock is uh, depicted in 
like the Snyder universe. So again, he's needed. so deeply into like comedy roots that like it's it, it's, it's just hard to see him anything. But else. I know I like I've seen him flip the switch before, and I as long as it's better than Richard Pryor in Superman three. So Bullock is so stuck in my head as the guy from um, the animated series. No, the because because uh, Gotham is like f- advertisements are fucking everywhere, oh, and I yeah, just watched that fucking dude the the guy from like Grounded for Life who kind of yeah. sucks as Bullock. So I'm bringing an actor back from the Christopher Nolan. Christopher Nolan as Batman. I'm I'm bringing back (laughs) Joseph Gordon-Levitt as the Riddler. Not Steve Buscemi. That's that's where you lose me altogether. Really? I think that's that's enough to ruin this project. Mm, mm. Who would you cast as the Riddler? Steve Buscemi. No. (laughs) It's me, the Riddler. (laughs) Riddle me this, Batman. Because I was having a lot of trouble with this one. It's it's a fucking hard one. I mean, I can see him. I can see him in the costume and stuff. It's just I don't think he's a good actor. I mm. I, hmm. I his I eyes too think, close together for you. Here's an, I was thinking <laughs> about this guy. Fuck, I, I forget his name. Um, like I don't think he can pull off the Riddler specifically. Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Macaulay Culkin. Um, remember the brother? Oh, Steve Carell. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. The brother from Little Miss Sunshine? Paul Dano as the Riddler. That's better. <clears throat> yeah. I think that's a better I was thinking one. about it, but I was like, oh, does he look a little too young? Like, Especially like this picture right here. Like, He definitely looks the part. He is a really good actor, I but I he... want to see him in... That was the thing that was like holding me back. I was like, I haven't seen him in enough to really know if he can nail that part. He has part. that same skin quality as like Billy Corgan when he had hair where you look like if you just poked him, it would like he would <laughs> deflate a bit. He looks, like, he looks like... If he was bald, he'd look like Billy Corgan. Um, he, think of how awkward he was in Little Miss Sunshine and then think of that think as about the how awkward everyone was no, in that movie. No, like Riddler in fucking Zero Year was like, he was a swag Oh yeah, because he was, because he was fucking, he had it all set up and yep. everything already. Yep. So that's why you don't want Steve Buscemi to play him. <laughs> I, I still think, I think he would be better to play Riddler from a different angle than it would be for Joseph Gordon-Levitt to do that specific Riddler. And here is my second best casting choice. Here we go. I never want to look at your phone, but every time you look at a phone, I immediately like, you know what? <laughs> Playing Lucius Fox. Idris Elb. Giancarlo Esposito. Bruh! <laughs> yes! Yes! That's so good. Yep. That's perfect. Yep. I don't know why I didn't think of like, oh, people from Breaking Bad. Yep. Who would be good in Batman? Yep. Brian exactly. Cranston is Bri- Batman. <laughs> Brian Cranston is Batman. With I- Aaron Paul as... Robin, it's Aaron. just Breaking Bad, but we're fighting crime. <laughs> Aaron Paul as Catwoman <laughs> in Hush. <laughs> so yeah, finally I, a Catwoman I can bang. <laughs> yeah, I think he would be the That's perfect. Perfect. Yeah, I think he would be the perfect Lucius Fox. And then playing Danny Corrigan, he's gonna have a smaller role. Dan, Danny Corrigan, if you don't know, is sort of like the corrupt uh, um, partner of Gordon. Uh-huh. Is Billy Corrigan? I want to watch uh, Breaking Bad again. <laughs> Giovanni Ribisi. This dude fucking rules. Yeah. He's a very underrated actor. Sorry, I'm he, just looking at his chin in this picture. You thought I was going to cast Fox as the same person as you, huh? Yeah. I that it. was the one. Yeah. <laughs> that's perfect. I had the hardest fucking time with casting. I could not land on I anybody. I stayed up until like three in the morning. It's constantly. You should have seen my original list. It was fucking Jesus. not like the same. I got Alyssa hella just under left. the influence. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then Commissioner Loeb. That's so is good. a deep cut. Is played by Jeff Loeb. <laughs> Commissioner Loeb would be played by Richard Real, which is the guy from Office Space. <laughs> I mean, I could see it happening. Fuck yeah! Look you at mean that Wilford guy. Brimley? He, he has to do that same <laughs> face though. Diabetes. This is the this, <laughs> this is the teaser for the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Just that picture. This is Jamie <laughs> Heineman's final form. <laughs> um, so he, I think he would nail the role because he. He knows how to be just like the the grunty sort of yeah. like mean character. It's not a huge character, so there's not room for him to fuck up or anything. It's after this, I just have my topic be who's your ideal Sonic the Hedgehog movie cast list. <laughs> <laughs> All right, with Keanu Reeves as Sonic and Vin Diesel as Knuckles. And then, here's one of my more proud. It's not the best casting I think I have, but I'm sort of proud of this next one. Wilford Brimley. Zero, zero year uh, Robin and Nightwing and them weren't in it yet. No. no it was it a was very, like, very it early was his, Like him in the beginning. So you just had Bruce Wayne making the <coughs> But I'm setting up a franchise here. I'm setting up characters. And so to play Barbara Gordon, oh, Al Fanning. 
So there's so again another another Oscar nominated movie. She was in Trumbo, and she could hold up a scene with fucking Brian Cranston. She's got acting chops, and she also has red hair in that movie. Sorry, all yeah. I'm hearing in my head right now is Trumbo Bumbo. <laughs> <laughs> um. I knew this girl could act from the very fucking beginning. What was she in? I saw her in Super 8. And I, right! I loved her Holy in Super 8. Holy shit, that's her. She was hella young in that movie. I, fucking, I forgot about that movie. I, I didn't that like the one. I didn't like the movie that much, but she fucking killed her whatever fucking role she had. She was yeah, like the main she, girl. She, she was like the sort of um, tomboy yeah, girl. Yeah, she was yeah. like the only real girl in the fucking group. <laughs> and she was phenomenal actress. Yep. Um, I haven't seen Trumbo yet. I uh, didn't know she, she could hold up a scene with. Brian I didn't know Cranston. she was in it. Now yeah. I really want to go see it because yeah. I I love her. She's yeah. fucking awesome. She 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 is really really good. Her right. as Barbara Gordon. It, how old is she now? She's like a couple years younger than Henry. Mel Fanning. Yeah, she's like she's she's, she's, she's really a little young. young. Yeah, yeah. Um, so she's tall as shit for her age, though. I could see it happening. Yep. All right. ASAP <laughs> Rocky. ASAP <laughs> Rocky. So here's the thing. This next character, this next, this next actor, Sorry, we stop. gave shit because he was up for a role for Spider Man. Sorry, like, I can't no. stop thinking about ASAP Rocky, Rocky, Rocky. Rocky. No, right. Okay. ASAP okay. right. Rocky is Robin. <laughs> I thought you typed it in. I was like, so, what? <laughs> so here's the thing. This this next uh, actor was up for a role for the new Spider Man. I was like, this guy is not Peter Parker. He does Elias not, is Peter Parker. He does not look like Peter. Peter Parker whatsoever. But he does look like a young Dick Anderson? Grayson. Asa Butterfield. He's a good actor. He looks. And he looks like fucking Dick Grayson. He looks like all three Robins. <laughs> <laughs> he can play fucking Damon. <laughs> I'm just looking at his eyes. He Sorry, does Damien. have creep, <laughs> creepily like really light blue eyes. But I think he would kill that. Role. Robin's a creepy character. <laughs> Robin's just a creepy hey, little kid. Batman. Batman. And then here we go. I can see him playing Damien. So not in that again. I'm setting up a franchise. This, for Bane, this, this, Adam last, West. this last character that I have cast wouldn't be in this movie, but would be in a follow up. Right, Court of Owls. So here is who I would cast as Lincoln March, which is also spoilers. Owl man, dude. The Talon. The Talon. There you go. It's been a while since I've read that comic. Owl man. Dude. I I just I reread those recently, so I wouldn't have remembered. Lincoln March would be played by none other than Sam Cl- uh, Claflin. It's so the guy from uh, Hunger Games. Yeah. Uh, that no, guy's... he's the guy who killed people. <laughs> <laughs> the one mugshot looking picture. But uh, uh, it was off of, based off this picture. I was like, all right, he's either got to be Hush or Lincoln March. I ended, up, I ended up going with Lincoln March. I can see it. Yeah. Um, that he has there's certain uh, face characteristics that Lincoln March and Bruce Wayne have in common, as do. Him and Finn Whitrick. Yeah. But it's like it's off enough to identify them as like completely different characters, though. And yeah. that's really good. Um, and I can see him being a piece of shit. I can see him in the talent outfit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Here's yeah. a question. Where would you have Adam West cameo cameoing in this? Because, you know, he, you Adam, West, Adam West would be. So, you know, the the scene or. <laughs> Uh, the Riddler has taken over has taken over the city. And the people have to go up to him and try to like uh, tell him a riddle that he can't like solve. He would be one of the people that goes up and tries to. And he tell one of the sixties Batman riddles. <laughs> yeah, that would be see fuck. see for Catwoman. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, there there you go. That that would be my movie, my cast list. That's really we got, good. We got to work on Riddler. Maybe Paul Dano. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. If we can't get Paul Dano, if, he, if he's hard like, the if, shark if, if was we call him up and he's leg. like, sorry, I'm doing a little Miss Sunshine too, then possibly Joseph Gordon Levitt, but we would have to maybe have to look for someone else as well. I think we just have to admit there will never be a better Riddler than the original Riddler from the 60s Batman show because he was perfect as the Riddler. He was pretty good. Yeah. The, um, the shark was pulling my leg. But yeah, props. The That's Joker. A really, really solid, solid cast list. Um, the, the one thing I ever liked out of Gotham, the series, mm. um, is the guy who plays Riddler, not how the show portrays the character yeah, of the Riddler, but I like character, the way they put his character into that universe it, is so dumb. It's stupid, but I like him. There's yeah. something about him that I like. Yep. Yeah. I don't think he would necessarily play Riddler, but I really like him mm. and I think he has the look for Riddler. Okay. Yeah.